So I'll talk a, a little bit about um, a few of the, the paintings of the desert. This one is a painting of uh, New Mexico, and uh, in, in uh, I guess it was around October of 19, I uh, visited a close friend of mine who lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and she drove us up from Santa Fe up to Taos on the high road. And I took a lot of uh, photographs of the, the different mountains, and I especially love the colors. So this uh, is titled, Heat in Stone Shedding Sand. So that is the kind of combination in the desert is the heat, the stone, and the sand that is everywhere. So um, uh, I love the, this very different geometry, the rock stratification, the sage, uh, the colors of, of sage uh, express coming into the sagebrush, and, uh, and some of the very um, bright greens too that are, are there which is always fun next to have having greens and reds together. The, you know, New Mexico sky has a reputation, you know, the light in New Mexico, everyone talks about it. And it is uh, because there's really no humidity. It, it's so crystal clear and the blue of the sky is, is always brilliant. So unless a rainstorm comes over, so, so, these, um, the colors are so important to me. Really, that is why I paint, is to explore uh, a place, the feeling of the atmosphere, the colors in the landscape, and the shapes of everything. So, okay, so let's walk over uh, to this one. This is um, maybe familiar to you because this is Smith Rock in Oregon. Up outside of Bend, and uh, I went there, uh, it was my first uh, trip into the, up to the desert to visit friends that live um, in Bend, and uh, we, we went to Smith Rock State Park. So this would be considered the front side of Smith Rock, and the state park is right here. Um, there's you know, easy parking and hiking trails. So people can hike all the way through these different uh, trails that you see in the painting. I love the, the, the drama of the uh, red rocks and then the water, the, the uh, I think it's called the Crooked Creek or, or something like that, um, that, that flows through this, so. Uh, and then the sage, you know, the sagebrush, all of that is here too. So this one is the largest painting in the show. It's uh, four feet high and three feet wide. And it's called Encountering Smith Rock. <laughs> right before the pandemic, I didn't know anything about the pandemic, but I was visiting close friends of mine in Tucson and we also drove through the desert, uh, also near Tucson, but we also went up into the Catalina Mountains. And, and I, of course, took lots of uh, photographs of, of that uh, landscape with the saguaro cactus. I had, had lived in Arizona. I, I, my undergraduate work was at the University of Arizona in Tucson. And uh, I have also lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and my graduate work was in uh, the University of Colorado in Boulder. So those mountains and the rocks and all of that landscape is very, very dear to me. And visiting again in, in Tucson was, um, was, it was really fun to, to be back in the desert, to see the saguaro again. And, uh, you know, water is often um, scarce, but this particular wash uh, is, is well known just outside of Tucson because it often has water in it. And uh, so I love that because then we have these beautiful reflections of the saguaro on the hill and, um, 
and the uh, the blue um, uh, sky being reflected in the water also. So um, again, it, it, this is full of those kind of sage green colors, which are are so um, recognizable in the the uh, desert around Tucson. Uh, now, I'd like to also talk about uh, this painting uh, in New Mexico. It's titled, Out in the Desert, There is Silence. And again, the, uh, the rock stratification and the shapes, the geometric shapes of the rocks in New Mexico, and this is up above Santa Fe on the way to Taos, uh, that uh, are so unique, these, these pinks and, uh, and yellow ochres and oranges, these colors of sage and the, uh, the yellow, um, like the cadmium yellows in the corner of the flowers. All of that is, is just uh, fascinating to me. And this clear blue skies of New Mexico the light is um, is so uh, so strong and uh, just comforting, really. Now I was there in um, in October, I think late October. It was just a perfect time to to go there because. Uh, it was after Labor Day, all the people have <laughs> gone, all the tourists have gone. It was actually Santa Fe was not crowded at all. And uh, so there just weren't a lot of cars on the road. We could stop anywhere and take photos. So this space, this I really hope that the viewer will enjoy the falling into this space, this deep space and enjoy the, the colors and the atmosphere. Because I think these, these desert paintings um, do express the silence that is in the desert. And uh, this one also, you know, it's just usually the wind and that's it. <laughs> so uh, it was really fun painting this one.